come from a traditional film background, but I'm been working in the web for three years now, um, I sort of gotten really interested about how filmmakers are using the web. Um, obviously, I work with filmmakers all the time in the program, and I learned that a lot of them are really sort of suspicious and fearful about using the web. And so I really started to get interested in how I could explain to them what I've learned and sort of share with them how they can be using it without fear and how they can sort of actually enjoy the process and, and embrace the new technologies and that the new technologies are creative outlets as well um, as, uh, you know, shooting or editing is. Um, I think that film distribution is always been somewhat uh, daunting and scary for filmmakers. I mean, will they get it? How will they get it? Will they make money off of it? Um, and so the web hasn't changed any of that. In fact, it's in truth probably made distribution a little scarier. Uh, but what it has done is actually brought more control to filmmakers. So whereas in the past you would have to, you know, make a splash at a festival or submit your project to a distributor and hope that they liked it, um, now you can upload and there's nobody who's going to say yes or no. There's going to be an audience right there and you can engage with them or not. Um, and so it's really put a lot of control in filmmakers' hands. And so a great example of, I think, um, a film that embraced this is Bass Ackwards, which is a um, narrative feature-length film. It's a road movie about two guys, and it premiered at Sundance. And um, rather than wait to see if a di distributor would pick up the film and buy it and then distribute it, um, they decided that right after the screening, they would make it available on YouTube rentals right away. And so they were able to ride all the press and all the people talking about how the film had done and how they liked it um, to engage with audiences like right then and there. Um, it was really innovative. They've been written up everywhere. I see them at tons of conferences. Um, I, I don't actually know how much money they made from doing that, uh, but I do know that they um, have certainly built a career for themselves, partly through that really unique distribution model. And that's just one example. Um, there's places like YouTube Rentals, there's Hulu, there's Netflix, there's Snag Films for documentary films. Um, large brands and, and Hollywood and, and traditional media companies are really realizing and recognizing that filmmakers are on the web and I think it's only a matter of time before more and more outlets are created. Mm -hmm.